Hi, everyone. I really gotta come up with an intro for these live streams. Hi, everyone. I really gotta come up with an intro for these live streams. But, welcome back to Minecraft. And, um, okay. So, if you see the title, we are... Really? Was there a village this... I want to just point out my uh, base slash village that I created has been over here. And for some reason, I have not bothered to check out this. Hang on a minute. We're getting closer. Mm -hmm. See, I've been mainly in this area over here. I have not once bothered to check over here. Turns out there was a village over here the whole time. Okay, well, like I said, this is uh, going to be the start of a weekly, bi-weekly project. Borrowing this bed for a moment. Well, first, I need to drop all this stuff, so... Luckily, I've got a giant tower that has a tra trash disposal unit right at the bottom. <coughs> but yeah, we are going to start building uh, a 100, flip flo 100 floor maze. Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. But yeah, so I actually got the spot already picked out. We just got to start doing some underwater digging. But I don't think we should have to deal with anything other than lava. Uh, why is that dog always barking? Okay, you know what? I'm just keeping you just because that's cool. I did not know you were lava proof. Ignore this. This was someone else I was going to make and it has not gone well. Okay, so... Every time I see this, I'm weirded out by it. Hang on, I want to get... This might be that actually the best spot because I did not think this would be uh, like this. Mm. 
I think I can work with this. Okay, so... Uh, forgot what I was... Right. Um, I just need a block. Okay, so yeah. Okay. All right. So we're basically just going to make a giant 100 block square. to stop going in and out of flying. Oh, did I crash the party or something? What number was I at? Okay, this is 3.30, so when we get to 2.30. Two thirty. Okay, that's one hundred blocks there, and five hundred. So, do I want to go that way or this? Well, here, hang on, hang on. right
Okay, yeah, we're going that way. Right, well, I think it was at 500, so 600. Sorry. But yeah, this is actually a project I've been thinking about doing for a while. So each floor is going to be a maze, but they're all going to be different. Like made out of different stuff, different paths. List goes on. And if, if you don't know what a maze is, you must have not had coloring books as a kid. I mean, I'm going to have to clear all this out anyway. Might as well get to work on it. Okay, so 600 is good here. And now we get to work on the third one. So work until three thirty. That reminds me of my job. One of my jobs it was night shift. I hated it. I had to get there at one o'clock in the morning and work till nine. Honestly, it was one of the worst jobs I've ever had because of so much uh, well bullshit with that job. Not only were the hours bad, they lied about my paycheck twice. And I'm not joking. They, I literally get there. They tell me. I apply for it. The job says 14 an hour. I get there to orientation. They tell me, oh, well, uh, it's actually 13 an hour. And uh, normally I would have been quit right there and left. But the thing is, I didn't have a job at the time. And I had just quit my job that I had been doing. And I desperately need money. You know, like everybody else. Okay, actually, you do not need to exist.
right. this path so I can just go ahead and do that. That is 100th grid made. Of course, now I have to fill this thing up. Debating, do I want to just make the? I probably should, yeah. I'll do the walls first. It'll be easier. Actually, I think the first floors are going to be the only one that's uh. By four, it's going to be four blocks. Every other floor is going to be three, <laughs> but considering the first one's literally technically just floating in the air. Yeah, I gotta make it four with this one because this is gonna have a floor and a roof. So, back to what my least, the worst job I've ever had. So, that, they lied about my paycheck. Yeah. Orientation told me it was gonna be $13, but I put up with it because I needed the money. The only, I found out later I was only making $13 for the first week. And
right there. Okay. I'm trying to focus on this, but I know I gotta t finish this story. Oh, Lord, I really need to work on getting better at that. that but hey, I've got ADHD, so I, y you gotta work with me sometimes. But anyway, so yeah, they lied about that. So it turns out I was only making 13 for the first week there. And I don't mean me working like whatever equals to a full week in hours. I mean, literally, I started Wednesday and my paycheck went from $13 to $11 on Sunday. Or Saturday. R really on top of that they would not actually train me well no they would tell me how to do stuff but they wouldn't get me my own equipment okay i never got a scan gun to scan packages in so i could put them on the delivery truck uh let's see they only had like two bathrooms in this whole warehouse good lord i don't know how i don't want to know it was bad for the men i don't even want to know what it was bad like for the women because at least with us dudes, we have uh, urinals. But, um... Jesus, this is a lot longer than I thought it would be. But there was only two bathrooms in here, both at equal ends of this warehouse, I want to point out. And the problem is, one bathroom was incredibly small. I meant one toilet, one urinal, that's it. And one sink. So even the dude's bathroom was having lines on it, like, galore. <coughs> and the other bathroom, all the way on the other end of the warehouse, was a normal one with multiple stalls and stuff. I assume the woman's was the same. The problem is, where my was working in this conveyor in the warehouse, I was on a conveyor belt all the way at one end of the warehouse. And I couldn't just go to the nice bathroom anytime I had to use the bathroom. Not joking, if I went to that one, I always get yelled at. I couldn't even go to the vending machine just to get a drink sometimes. Uh, because they would have a problem with me taking too long, which I want to point out, I was only walking for a couple of minutes. And, uh, ugh. even remembering this has a bad time. So, yeah. So, I would get yelled at if I tried to go to the bathroom where I could hurry up. And if every time I tried to use the smaller bathroom, somebody always came knocking whenever I finally got to the stall. Like, the cup, like, Dusk, you need to hurry it up. Like, seriously, imagine what... I'm actually, I'm pretty sure any girl hearing this story will know what it's like. The, because they'll be going, imagine trying to use the bathroom at your job and then like sitting down on the stall. You finally get to sit there after waiting like 30 to 40 minutes. And then as soon as you sit down, they're like, they come and get you because it's like you're taking too long. And it's like, well, there was a giant ass line. And amazingly, I did not quit when this happened. Granted, I didn't really make it all that far in the shop. I only made it two weeks. Not the shortest I've been in a job, but the other one I actually had to leave was because of an allergic reaction. But that's a different story.
One, two, three. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's four blocks there. Did I... Gotta get that one. But, yeah. So, we also, I want to... So, the bathrooms were hell. The hours were hell. And they lied about my paycheck. And yet, I still stuck around. Trust me, I'm incredibly stubborn. You'd be surprised how stubborn I can be on some things. But... Yeah. So, I would, like I said, I was loading delivery trucks. Except only they wouldn't actually train me. Well, no, they told me what I needed to do. It's just they wouldn't ever get me the scan gun I needed. See, whenever something got put on the delivery trucks at this warehouse, you had to scan it so the system knew it was in there. I assume it's like that with every other warehouse. Granted, it's also been like that with other warehouses I've worked. But, I... Couldn't get a scan gun. So every time I would put something on the truck, I I had to get it scanned before I could go in. Which you think wouldn't be a problem. Except only the only way for me to scan it was get this other person to scan it. And every single time I tried to... I came to her to get it scanned. She'd get annoyed with me. And eventually she yelled at me, you can't keep coming to me to have scanned stuff. And I flat out told her, yes, I can. Because I got told to come to you. If you don't want me to keep coming to you, hurry up and get me a scan gun. Oh, yeah, this didn't go down. And so, yeah, I didn't even get the, So, yeah, this was also adding to the list. There was also the fact they would not give me a schedule like they were doing it. And I don't mean like a part time. I mean, my boss would liter literally told me, I'll decide when you get the day off. Don't worry. Yeah. In fact, the only day off I got in the out of these whole two weeks, meaning I worked 13 days, pretty much, was one I gave myself because I lied and said something was up with my car. And then they tried to write me up for that. They didn't know it was a lie, but, but they were writing, wanting to write me up because I missed a day. Never mind the fact that I had worked like seven or eight days in a row at this point. Yes, I actually worked a full week and did not get an off day. Which I'm pretty sure is illegal, but I really can't do anything at this point. Oh, I didn't realize I was at four blocks. Uh, we gotta get rid of you guys, so... there Sweet, that's four blocks all around. Now I gotta start filling in the floor for the first bottom part. Yeah. Uh, anyway, back to the job from hell. I wouldn't, uh, so I couldn't get my equipment, and. Uh, 
and I was getting yelled at for just trying to do my job. It never helped that every time I would apparently put on someone on this truck, it was always wrong. Even though I know damn well I was putting them in the right one. So I kind of got tired of it. My final problem came when I found out something. So at this warehouse, and the, I was, like I said, I was stocking the delivery trucks. And these are the uh, kind of trucks you see out and uh, all about. I don't know if you have them in other parts of the world, but if in America, you've definitely seen these trucks. They're kind of what come to your house all the time when you order packages on the line. I don't know if I can actually get away with saying the company's name, but... Um, I'm trying to think, what's a good way to get around that? You, they're, they have, you, their delivery trucks are white. And blue. And have a letter associated with them that is often used by Halo fanboys and noobs. For a certain console that also shares this letter. Okay, like I was saying though. So, yeah. And uh, I was doing this job, job, job one day where I was actually left alone, which was actually a blessing. And uh, uh, I get tapped on. Someone t comes in and taps me on the back of the shoulder. I turn around, and it's one of the bosses of the other conveyor belts. There was multiple conveyor belts in this warehouse, by the way. Uh, who, and he asked me one simple question, and this question is the reason I quit. Why are you in this truck? So, I had to figure out why he was asking it. For, I first assumed he thought I was a thief or something because I hadn't gotten an ID yet either. Yeah, that, that to list of things they were not giving me. And I explained that I just hadn't got my ID yet and I had just started like two weeks ago. Except only he knew that. He flat out knew that because he said he pointed, he recognized me from the new group that showed up two weeks ago because I was wearing the same leather jacket that I... Oh, was wearing at the exact moment he came to ask me this question. So he wanted to know why I was in a bolt truck. And I asked what did he mean. Because this is where I got told to work. He said. And I got. Turns out. You're not supposed to work in the bolt truck. Unless you've been there for a while. Almost a year. Actually. When I explained who was in here, he said, yeah, you need to get off this truck and find somewhere else to work. So I went to my conveyor belt boss, told him, look, you're either going to put me in a regular truck or not, because I just found out you're not supposed to put me in the bolt trucks. He laughed and said, no, I'm going to work the bolt trucks for reasons that I don't really feel like talking about. Let me just say right now, if you were a dude and you got told this by him, you'd be pissed off too. Yeah. Anyway. He said to either go back to the bolt trucks or I'm fired. And I told him, don't worry about firing me because I quit. He thought I was joking. I wasn't. I walked out, quit, went home, took a nap. Well, actually, it wasn't a nap because I, got, I quit at 2 o'clock in the morning, so... <laughs> So I went home and went back to bed and slept like a normal person.
Yeah, and that is the job from hell. And I will never go back. Seriously, I don't care what you tell me. You will never get me to work in that warehouse or the heart of that company again. And let's, yeah. Honestly, that job is the reason why I started to actually do Twitch and YouTube in the first place. Because I flat out realized, you know what, if I got to do the work my ass off and grind and all this stuff, I might as well make it something I want. I can take some pride in and not get lied to about. Trying to think what do mm. But yeah, that is hands down the worst job I've had, and I've had a few jobs in my life. I've worked at a pizza place for four years. Yeah, I was in food service for four years. And ironically, that wasn't the job that made me want realize I need to try and start doing something I would love. I've worked in one, two, three, four warehouses. And I've worked night shift at a, uh, as a stock boy for uh, Lowe's. At a hard Lowe's hardware. I actually would have stayed with that job because it, it just did not pay well. And I've worked at a car dealership. Yeah, and that's where I've spent almost the last 10 years. Well, not 10 years, but almost at 10. I wish there was a faster way to destroy all this stuff, but I really can't think of nothing. Yeah, my job history is not as bad as some people I've se seen out there. Some people, I'm wondering how they have not gone full-blown supervillain. Especially with how some of these jobs are. Anybody watching this in the future or whatever, what's the uh, job mar What's the jobs like in a outside of America? I've always been curious if y'all had it better or not than us.
Oh, I thought that was bricks or something. Honestly, the job market to, in the world sucks nowadays. Seriously, does anybody else think it's a bad deal when you think about it? Like, realistically, if you look at this job, granted, this is only for jobs in America. I, Like I said, I have no clue what jobs like outside of America are, but let me know what you think, if what it's like if you see this, if it's better or worse. You gotta get a job at 18... Well, I'm just let's, I'm just trying to make, give it as early as I can. I know some people even start off at 16, but I'm just going to say 18 because legally you're an adult in America at 18. Not that it does much for you because you still can't drink in bars or go anywhere, but that's not the point. You get a job at 18, you and and you're supposed to work these jo this job. Not it may be the same job. You may have this job for until you retire. I don't know, but. You're supposed to basically work your ass off for it. Drink my night potion. I wonder if it tastes good. You're supposed to work your ass off for all these years, the whole year, almost the whole year. Sure, you get like one or two days off a week. Sometimes not even that, sometimes more. And then you just get that one week out of the year off where you can enjoy life. And then you're expected to do this almost every year for the rest of your life. Meanwhile, you have to struggle to pay bills, your car, debt, all that stuff. And I, before anybody says, well, I can take stand on top of that. Yeah, you may be able to stand on top of it, but life fucks everybody. Unfortunately. Sooner or later, something, no matter how well you're prepared in your life, something bad happens, and now you're struggling to recover it. Meanwhile, you've got literally people who work, do jobs nowhere near as bad as you. As yours, I meant. Bad as your job. And they get paid far more. And, sir, sir sometimes you can get promoted, climb that ladder, and become the next big dog. But most of the time, you're over here working your ass off trying to just ma make ends meet. Back to the store because I was starting to give myself a headache. You do all this, you get one week out of the year off to enjoy your life, to just have fun. You're expected to do this up until 60. Well, correction, actually, the retirement age in America was upset to have moved around 70 now. You're supposed to do this from 18 to 70, so almost uh, 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 50 years. 
Sometimes more, sometimes less if you're lucky. And then you are supposed to retire and enjoy life when you can't do anything about it with it. Because your body at this point is tired. It's been doing nothing but work for all these years. Even if your job wasn't as full of manual labor as some other people's jobs, you're still not in the mood going to be able to do stuff because age catches has caught up with you. And it's just, it just seems like a bad deal to me. You know? Like, I don't think it's a good deal. But especially when you think about a normal one, just one year. There's what? What is that? 52 weeks in a year, I think? I forget, actually. Even if that is... Yeah, I think it's 52. Anyway, I don't th I think it's a good I, I don't think it's a good deal that you work in most of the time you work 52 weeks out of the year. Not even really that sometimes and you get one week off out of the year not counting holidays to enjoy it. I'm sorry, but even high school is a better deal than that. And this is coming from a guy who will never go back into the education system to, for, to get a college diploma if you paid him. It's like I honestly cannot blame some people for trying to find alternative means to make money. Look at me. I'm doing this. Granted, the money is not the only reason I'm doing this, but it's definitely a big part of it. Oh, wait, wrong way, wrong way. We're going in... We're going this way. I... Honestly, the money is not the reason I do this. Well, the ma main reason. It does help whenever I, I think about it. But the idea that I'm supposed to just spend my life doing something I don't want to. And my reward every is just wait for one year, week out of the year to enjoy it. And you can't even do that sometimes because some of these jobs will be like, yeah, some of these jobs will give you one week. Other times they'll even like, well, the longer you stay, the more vacation time you get. After a certain amount of years, it's two weeks. After even more years after that point, it's three weeks. But then there's these jobs like, nah, every like 52 hours you work, that's one hour of vacation time. Say what? Like, I don't, that's not a good deal. You can, and before anybody ever says to me, well, you're clearly not trying hard enough. Shut the fuck up. I work my ass off. Barely making ends meet and I drive a car on life support. I know I'm struggling. It's like, I'm not, I don't think it's a good deal at the end of the day. It's. I can see why everybody looks for a side hustle or plays the lottery like they do. Because the alternative is literally pretty much work, work your life away.
because, well, no. I, this, this, it doesn't seem like a really happy existence. Does it? Living your life working for someone else for a job that really won't miss you once you're gone. Don't get me wrong. You probably have your co-workers that might miss you or something. But it's not like that job is suddenly going to stop existing without you. Pretty sure anybody who ever watches this could literally... 95% of you could quit your job tomorrow and... Their... Your company would just go, okay, time to replace them. Then there's the fact that whenever you try and enjoy what you the money you've earned, you know, does anybody else ever get to the point have gotten to the point where they feel guilty about spending their money on anything if it's not bills? Like you'll get buyer's remorse for anything. Like, has anybody ever done that? Like, they'll go just even some stuff and stupid, like a bag of chips or something. Like, you know, I could have saved those three dollars for that bag of chips. Used it for gas or something. You know, I think I should have started with the roof. It probably would have been easier. gonna make it easier. Uh, I didn't mean to bring the mood down, by the way. It's just... I don't know. Like I said, it just seems like a bad deal at the end of the day. You know? Well, great. I guess it would be dark for you guys. I thought I was, I was going to say, why are y'all showing up? It's not dark. And then I remembered I'm drinking this potion that lets me see.
Uh, I gotta think of something positive to cheer up than rather how bleak the American job system is. Realize I'm kind of flooding this place. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. What can I talk about that's a little more positive? Uh, oh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is coming out soon. I'm actually planning on doing that on the channel soon. I haven't figured out if that is going to be a uh, Twitch stream or YouTube playthrough. Because I actually know everything. Well, okay, I don't know everything about the game. But I've watched like three different uh, people's uh, Let's Play of that game. So it's not like it's going to be a big shock or anything to me. It's just it's one game I've never gotten to play. And I'm, always, and I'm excited to finally be playing it. quicker to just get rid of all of this. this But yeah, I'm actually really excited for uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. <laughs> even if I already know what happens. It's just, has anybody else got that game? Even though you know what's going to happen, you're still excited like crazy to finally, finally get a chance to play it. Because I was actually over here believing I was going to have to start... I was going to... I was actually going to believe I was going to have to spend like a thousand dollars on Amazon or something to finally get a copy of that game. Because boy did that thing be expensive.
You know, if I really... I have to build it down here to begin with because... Oh, good. They don't give me enough space up top. Well, they might have, but it's better safe than sorry. Plus, I think it looks cooler if part of the maze is underground. Uh, I'm trying to think. What's on my mind right now I could talk about? Uh, well, okay, so this has been on my mind lately. I don't know why, but my YouTube feed has been... Basically taken over by people reviewing Miraculous Ladybug. Miraculous Ladybug. Did I say that right the first time? I don't know. And because I've got nothing better to do, I've watched this. And I really got to know, what is the creator's problem with the character Chloe? For anybody wondering, as my knowledge on this show is kind of limited outside of these videos. Because the only place I've ever seen it played was uh, at my uh, nephew's house. Because he, like me, loves superheroes. And it's... Well, it's out there. Ugh. Oh, I was trying to say, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah, Miraculous, Miraculous Ladybug. I think it had some good episodes. Granted, it definitely see, is obvious it's catered towards kids. But I've never held the behind, I've never actually believed that just because a show is made for little kids, it could be, it has to be cartoony and not, like, you can't have a serious plot on it. Look at Avatar. Like, that's totally something little kids could watch, but adults like it fine. And I never watched it myself, but I remember my little pony uh, friendship with his magic took off like crazy. I only know it was popular with adults because one guy I watched Josh Scorcher. Talked about it a lot on his channel. I think he even made a second channel dedicated to it. for an hour wow we have not got as far as progress as i thought but i guess that's kind of to be expected it's a slow start but once we I, I feel like once we get the the first floor done it'll be a lot easier Did you get down here? Okay, back to what I was talking about, Mirac Miraculous Ladybug. Uh, I've looked at like some of the re people who review this. I even looked at some clips of the show. It honestly does feel like the creator just has a bone to pick with uh, this, the Chloe girl. Like, dude, you created the show. Who did you base her off of and why do you hate her so much? 
Like, get some help, dude. Whoever this person is, if she's based on a real-life woman, I have a feeling this woman does not give a damn about you anymore. And it's always a little bit cringy when people do self-inserts like that. will be as bad or not. Great, now I'm lost. Sorry, I kind of spaced out for a second there. That happens a lot. I'll get focused on something and then I forget I can speak. I was talking about the ladybug show. Uh, yeah, it just seems like the creator just really has an unhealthy obsession with torturing this character here. Like, dude, whoever you built based her off of probably doesn't give a damn about what you do now. Move on with your life. You have a show that is apparently very successful. Take it as a win. Because all it does is make you look petty. And that's all I'm going to say about a kid's show that I don't really watch. Actually, am I the only person like this? You'll watch a bunch of YouTubers and stuff talk about a show or something you don't watch, but you'll never actually watch the show yourselves. You'll just stick with the reviewers or something. Anybody else ever do that? Get out the way.
Okay, let's get this one started. Actually, it's all, almost time for a break, so we're... I'm going to finish this line and then we're going to go on break for about 10 minutes. With creative mode, it's easier to get this done. Okay, we're just going to go on break for a few minutes, 10 minutes. I will see you guys then.
Okay, I feel better after a break. How about you guys? I'm just gonna I think it'll go by faster if I do it like this so dude I literally just put this thing on Uh. Hang on, I gotta go see what my dogs are barking at. It may be nothing like always, but just in case. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <sighs> that is a problem with every dog I've I've ever had, really. They'll bark at nothing. I love my dogs, but good lord do I sometimes wish they would just go a night without barking at something. to get rid of a good chunk of you so uh. 
<sighs> kind of ran out of stuff to talk about. Uh, well, here, here's something I can talk about. I hear Sonic Heroes is supposed to be getting a remake. I'm shocked if that's true. Because Sonic Heroes... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like that was the if that of all the <laughs> Sonic games to get remade, that would not be the one I would have picked. And here's the thing: I actually like Sonic Heroes. Okay. But I don't think it would be the game people have been. I don't. It's actually not. Seriously, um, with the Sonic community and Sonic fans in general, out of all the Sonic games I've seen get requested to get remade, the most common one is, well, the Sonic Adventure games. I'm not sure which is higher. Out of curiosity, which one is this at? 13? My nose is getting stocked up all of a sudden. But, yeah. If it was... But it's Sonic Heroes! Sonic Heroes! Like, I get why Sonic Generations is getting remade. Kind of. And they remade Sonic Colors. The thing is, when you look at the... And here's the thing. I've done a Let's Play of Sonic Colors. Go check that out if you feel like it, please. And I still think it holds up as a good game. But these are not Masterclass games. And I'm really wondering why, out of all of the Sonic games, it's Sonic Heroes that would be getting a remake. Don't get me wrong, it's a good game, and I think it has one... Uh, actually, if I'm being honest, I think it has the best, or at the very least, the second best soundtrack out of any Sonic game. Seriously, if you ever listen to the music that's playing with that... Honestly, I should try and figure out how I can get that as background music, because that would be good background music. certainly beat what we're listening to right now, which is not even really playing anything. But if Sonic Heroes gets remade, that just brings up the question, why Sonic Heroes? Like, the thing is, that is the game that is right after the Adventure series, okay? Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, and I'm going to be honest, if you actually did have to choose a Sonic game to get remade, I would have gone with Adventure 1. Or, you know what, I wouldn't even go with the Adventure games. I would have gone with the DS game, Sonic Rush, Sonic 1 and 2, uh, what's that other one, um, it's the, the PSP Sonic game, Sonic, uh, Rivals, yeah, Sonic Rivals, uh, what's up with my nose all of a sudden, but, yeah, I would have gone with those games, because you know what, they actually need it. 
Port them to modern consoles. With the DS shop gone and the 3DS shop gone, I know the DS shop is gone. There, there's so many. Those are good games, and they deserve to be brought back. I would honestly choose Sonic Rush over Sonic Heroes. It's decisions like this that make emulation a thing. And piracy. Dang, that water is getting bad. I can clear this out. Hmm. Is but back to the Sonic Heroes thing. It's like I, well, I don't know if I have high hopes for a Heroes remake. Sega has not exactly. Delivered when it comes to Sonic remakes. Sonic Colors Ultimate, anybody? And if I'm being honest, I'm at least happy it's not another boost formula game. I guess I can see why they're going farther back in the time, though, because let's be honest, after Generations, what was the next game? I highly doubt Lost World is getting a remake. And then, uh, yeah, I can, I don't think they thought, I think Sega just decided, oh yeah, we can't remake those games. Lost World? Well, I never played it, so I don't know if it's good or not. Although I have, because I've actually heard mixed things about it. Some people say it's a really good one. Some people say it's just boring to complete. And others say it's just bad character writing, but... But it's just, mm, it just confuses me that that's the Sonic game that gets remade. And see, and it seems like Sega's trying to do everything they can to get away from the adventure stuff. Like they remade the classic games with Sonic Origins. They're re they remade Colors Ultimate and Generations Time Shadow. Well, with Generations Time Shadow, I meant. And now it's if uh, Sonic Heroes. I don't know if it's actually been confirmed or not. If it has, I'll be. It'll be cool, I guess. But. It seems like they're just trying to stay clear of the adventure stuff. 
Part of me wonders if it's because of Big the Cat. <laughs> like, it, I, that would be funny if the reason they are avoiding making adventure remakes is just because they don't want to bring back Big the Cat as a playable character. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's enough about the Sonic Hero stuff. If it happens, it happens. If not, the internet had a rumor on it. What big surprise. Enderman's doing down here. Eh, we're at thirty. <laughs> Sorry. Again, sorry, excuse me.
trying to think because I feel like there's a game I do want to get re. I want to. Okay, it's not actually a remake. Yeah, I just realized what I want. It's not a remake. I want them to revive because this has not gotten a new game in what ever. Like what? How how long ago was? How long ago was Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? Like, I honestly am surprised. Well, I'll, I know why Microsoft hasn't bothered to make one. They don't really want to sell my Xboxes. And I'm not joking. Think about it. They want to sell you on Game Pass, not a console. Game Pass is on PC now, so it works for them. But if they really wanted to, they would be easy. Just for starters, let's not make a Halo game that is not like uh, Infinite. Look, I'm not disrespecting Halo Infinite if you like it, but compared to the other Halos, I hear no one talking about that game. I even heard I heard people talking about Halo 4 when it came out. I even heard people talking about the things they loved about Halo 5. I don't hear anything about Halo Infinite half the time. Granted, that doesn't mean it's not happening. I'm just saying. Just make a Halo... Halo, uh... Like, uh, as good as Reach again. Make Banjo 3E. And then release Conker's Bad Fur Day, the other ba sequel. Conker's Other Bad Fur Day. Like, Xbox has a bunch of IPs they could make uh, as console exclusives and they would totally sell on Xbox. The problem is, they don't want to. Seriously, you don't think, pe you really think after what happened with Nintendo showing Banjo-Kazooie in freaking Smash Brothers, the fact that people had a field day when that same game showed up on the Nintendo uh, Switch Direct thing, uh, Nintendo Switch Online, And nobody at Microsoft went, hmm, you know, maybe it would be a good idea to make uh, a Banjo 3E for uh, Xbox. No one? The only way that reason they weren't making that is because they knew, they knew and they just don't want to sell Xboxes anymore. They're making more money off of Game Pass and all that stuff together with the consoles. And I'm not knocking Game Pass. I actually think it's a really good system. But, let's be honest. What do you think is making Microsoft more money in the long run? Game Pass? Or a new Xbox? Seriously. Look at it this way. How many people have actually needed to buy an Xbox Series X? What is the big exclusive Xbox Series X game? I'll wait. Actually, it's getting time to end the stream, so almost at the two hour mark.
Okay, yeah, we're gonna call it quits here for tonight on the stream. We'll probably finish up the rest of floor one uh, next week, or this wins or this set. Yeah, next stream will actually be on Friday. We will we'll either be doing this or we'll be doing something completely different. Odds are completely different because I want to make this like a once a week deal, unless it gets just really popular and this is what everybody wants to see. But I will see you guys later. As soon as I save.